Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to review my Louis Vuitton key pouch in the monogram print. Um, now this pouch I have had for, I would say about a year now. Um, I do use it every single day, it is always with me. So I thought I would kind of share with you um, what you can use it for and I know that there are a ton of reviews on YouTube about these and kind of what you can use them for but I thought I would do you know a video on it and just um, share with you what has worked well for me for this and why I purchased this item um, now first thing I did have I have had it in the Damier Abin and in the Azure print I ended up getting rid of both of those um, I don't really know why I I really I obviously ended up regretting it um, and I am just much more of a monogram person than I am any of the other prints and so I did repurchase in the monogram and I will never go without this again so first thing is this is the new model I think Louis Vuitton um, Kind of vamped it up a little bit. I think that with the new model, the sides are a little more rounded. So there's like I have cards in there right now, and there's a lot of extra space in there. So this is the new model. Um, and then it's got you know the gold tone hardware with the um, kind of key clip that you can keep your clip your keys onto, which is, I think, what this is made for. Um, and so you just kind of open it up like so, and then you, you kind of have to like push up on it and then pull it out. So that's actually held up tremendously. There are no, there's no tarnishing on that whatsoever. And there's faint, faint, faint scratches, but you have to look hard. And then um, the zipper, same thing. There's no tarnishing. It's just, you know, those faint hairline scratches. And then um, it is made up of two pieces of canvas. And um, so both sides are right side up. So it's kind of stitched at the seams. And then on the inside, um, it's got, I'll take these out, um, Louis Vuitton, Paris, made in France. Nope, doesn't say made in France, just kidding. Um, it says Louis Vuitton, Paris. And the date code, it's always hard to find the date code in these. So the date code is on the side that you open up to. So it will be under here, kind of back in that corner. I'm not even going to try to read it. Really need a flashlight basically to read that so um, but yeah so that's what the inside looks like and it is just a brown I believe leather um, leather interior so yes so I um, absolutely love this little piece the main reason that I wanted it in my collection was to hold like extra cards, um, whether they be business cards, store cards, you know, gift cards, whatever it may be. I, you've all seen my small wallet. It's the zippy coin purse. Um, and so, you know, you can't fit much else in there other than like your everyday essentials and whatnot. So in this, I do keep, um, just kind of care cards and, uh, rewards cards. Um, I have some business cards in here, you know, that sort of thing, and a couple gift cards. So that is what I use it for, and I've got a stack here of cards, and, oops, and um, they fit in here beautifully, so I'll kind of just show you, I kind of go in that way, like so. And you can still fit a ton more, and sometimes I even, um, I don't always love this dangling around, so I'll even just throw that in there, and 
it zips beautifully. There's no, you know, pulling at anything. It's just, it's perfect, easy, grab and go, you know, little pouch. So, um, I will name a few things that, I mean, and there's probably so much more, but just a few things off the top of my head. You can obviously put cards in here, um, of any sort, you know, business cards, whatever it may be. You can fit cash in here. You could even fit cash along with cards. Um, you could do coins. You could use it for bobby pins and like hair ties and things like that. Um, you could even use it for lip products if, you know, you've got like the smaller lip tubes and your chapsticks fit in here great. Um, feminine products even, you know, they make like the compact tampons now. <laughs> and so those would fit in here great too, you know, if you were going to the beach or something for a day or, you know, if you were going to the bathroom and the bathroom's in front of a bunch of people and wanted to just throw them in something, you could carry this to the bathroom with you. Um, you could do, what else? I wrote some stuff down. Obviously keys, because, you know, keys are what it's, I guess, intentionally made for. So you would clip your keys onto here and you could just keep it. Um, you could even, I mean, obviously with your keys, you could do both. Like you could have your money, your cards, whatever in here, and then you can have your keys clipped on this and just, this is all you need. You use that every day. So. That's a great option. Jewelry, it has come in, um, in really good use when I am like on vacation. I will, you know, if I need to just store my necklace or I, I wouldn't put my rings in here just because that's scary to me. They're always on me. <laughs> but um, you can put jewelry in here. Jewelry would be a great thing, you know, if you're traveling and just need to throw your jewelry in something and don't really have a jewelry case this would work wonders. Um, that is really all that I can think of. I mean, I know that there's so much more you can do with this. Um, and I will say another thing that I love it for is when I am on vacation, whether you have like a room key, like the um, actual card that you like slide to get in the door or keys, like literally keys. I use this because I can obviously, you know, if I'm going out to the pool or the beach or whatever it may be, um, I can just take this with me in like my beach bag or whatever and have this and know where the room key is at all times. So I do love it for that reason too. I started doing that, I don't know, last year sometime and I was like, oh my gosh, this works so perfect. So um, it just kind of helps keep you organized. So would I recommend this? I definitely, definitely would. Um, a lot of people say due to the price point, um, you know, it's on like the lower scale of Louis Vuitton when it comes to pricing. It would be a great first piece for someone. Um, if you're looking into starting a Louis Vuitton collection and you're just like, you know, I, I wanna start small and this would be the way to go, this or a wallet or the mini pochette. I would say any of those would just be wonderful to start your collection. So I do absolutely love this piece. I will have it in my collection forever. Um, I will not be selling this again. I know that, you know, third time's a charm, right? So anyways, so that is my video on the Louis Vuitton key pouch. I always get these names so twisted. And a lot of people call it the key clay. I don't know if it used to be called the key clay or if it, it still might be the key clay, but I know that I always type in <clears throat> like key pouch when I'm searching it. So anyways, yes, I recommend it. Um, it's just awesome. So, all right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will hopefully within the next week or so be doing a reveal video on my new Neverfull GM, well, new to me. I did order it off of Fashion File. Um, and so yeah, keep, stay tuned, stay tuned because I will be doing um, kind of an unboxing on that. And when I do that, I think I'm going to do a mini review on Fashion File and my experiences with them and what I think of them. Um, I know a few of you 
might wonder, you know, if you've never purchased off of there before. Um, I, I've never had a bad experience. So anyways, but I will, I will review them and what I think about them in my next video. So stay tuned and you will see that in the upcoming week or so. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and I will try, as I say in all of my videos, I try to upload one, if not more videos a week. Um, if I ever don't film a video in a week, it, it's coming. It's just, um, you know, life hits every now and then. So, but okay. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.